Tell us, yeah. how do you actually make the diagnosis of dead butt syndrome? There are two tests that you could do at home. Uh, the first is what I call a nerve test. Who's going to do it for me? Me. Okay, Dr. Jen, I'm a volunteer. I'm ready. Okay, so Dr. Jen, I want you to sit here. Okay. You're going to bring your chin down to your chest. Okay. You're going to take your right leg. You're going to extend and flex your foot. And you should feel a pull behind the leg and then release it. You're going to extend and feel a pull behind the leg. If you're feeling a pull, that's indicating to me that there's some kind of nerve entrapment. Do you feel that behind the leg? I do feel it, yeah. Yeah. So that's telling me that something's going on mm. in, inside that, that nerve. So that's telling me we got to get this person up and moving. Now, the other thing, when we're saying gluteal amnesia, because these glutes aren't working, but they, they're not functioning, they're not, there's no strength. We do what's called a Trendelenburg test. And a Trendelenburg test is you're going to test on both sides. I think we're gonna show you guys in the visual. So you stand on your left leg for 30 seconds. And if you have bad balance, obviously hold on to something while you lift up your right leg. Now, if that pelvis doesn't stay level and it drops, it's indicative of gluteal weakness, and I would test this on both sides. So now we're realizing that, boy, we gotta get these gluteal muscles going. And so yeah. when, when you have an idea that this might be going on, what can you do to treat dead butt syndrome? Um, and what can we do to avoid it altogether? Because prevention is, is so important, right? You are absolutely right. Okay, number one, and I talk to Orton, I know you hear me say this all the time, don't get up and stretch. It is shut down, things are entrapped, and you're gonna get up and stretch, you are going to just have so much more pain. So, do not stretch, number one. Number two, I'm gonna beat this to the ground. You put a little marker or a timer on your computer. You guys have to get up. Yeah. You have to move, especially if you're working at home. Go outside, get five minutes of fresh air come back and actually they have shown studies that you are going to be 20 times more productive by taking intermittent breaks throughout the day. So really, really important, okay? The next thing that you can do, change your chairs, use an exercise ball, get an inexpensive stand-up platform desk so you're changing you know, your, work, your workstation. Now, Dr. Orton, I don't think this is for you seeing you did knee rehab with me, but the first thing that they would show you is, you know, your glutes are responsible for abducting, lifting up, and you could start by a simple squat, lifting up, facilitating those glutes and back down. You could do these throughout the day. I would do three sets of five, three times a day. Now, if you have knee problems like you, Doc, not a good idea, right? So you're gonna laugh at me, you guys, but it really, really works and I'll do this too. Just simple. Marching. Look at I am just getting everything going. Look at you so go. Good. And then just moving this back. It just get up and move. It doesn't look, it doesn't cost any money. You just have to get up and move. So get up and move. That's position. the take get home. Outside. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Karen. Such great oh, information. My pleasure. Thanks for being here with us today. Watch your posture. <laughs> Thank you.